actually recorded this initial review after the Dark Knight Marathon last night, but I was so tired that I don't think I gave the review my all. I would say this movie is the movie event of the summer. It's the sequel to Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight and the end of his Batman trilogy. And for those of you who know I love Batman, Dark Knight is one of my favorite movies, and Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors, if not on the top of the list. And it was awesome seeing all the Batman movies in a row. Batman Begins, I saw some of the flaws, but solid Batman movie. Dark Knight, amazing. Dark Knight Rises kind of let me down. I'm actually being a little polite because it really let me down. I thought it was a complete mess. I will say the good things right off the bat, no pun intended, and the one thing that struck me as the best thing in this movie was actually Bane. I thought Tom Hardy's portrayal as Bane was on par with Heath Ledger's portrayal of Joker. A lot of people said that Bane doesn't have a lot of depth, but I never saw Bane as kind of a depth kind of character. He was all about the mood. There were so many times where I was just like, that's a scary dude, and if you can elicit that kind of emotion from me, then way to go. Actually, I really liked Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. I think she played it well despite some of the material she got. One of the things that struck me about this movie is that it really wasn't about anything. If you think back to Batman Begins, it's really all about Bruce Wayne. It's about Batman. And Dark Knight is about Gotham City and how you have to give up certain things and how hope sometimes dies. And even when everything has really gone to hell, like you just kind of give it up to become the hero that you need to be. This movie had like three different things that it was trying to be and was never really consistent about it. There were three. No, there were four. Four plot twists that were just dumb. Honestly, without spoiling in this review, there's a plot twist about the villain, there's a plot twist about one of the characters, there's an impossible plot twist about the outcome of one of the main characters, and there's another one that was just dumb. Which is a shame because all these twists took the foundation of the movie and it crumbled just like the Gotham City football field. Again, Bane is easily the best thing in the movie. The characters are really cool. There are actually some really awesome performances and there's a lot of cool stuff. So the muscle of the movie is there, but the skeleton is just weak. And I understand that I could accept it as an entertaining movie, but this is a Christopher Nolan movie, the end of a trilogy. And when I think about it in detail, it just, it just doesn't hold up. And I'm probably going to see it again because the sound in my theater absolutely was terrible. I went to a theater and the speaker was just crackling and they tried to fix it and at one point for the first 15 minutes of the movie you could not hear the dialogue so I didn't know what was going on. And then the dialogue was just way too low for the rest of the movie so I just have to see it again because half of it honestly I don't know what happened. Um, but that's my overall review of the movie. So um, again, Christopher Nolan, wow, wow, I just, I don't know what happened. Anyway, Dark Knight Rises, that's a wrap.